Hello home bakers and welcome to episode 5 of the Baking 101 series, the beginner's guide to baking ingredients. I will teach you about your key ingredients in baking so you'll learn how to make yummy cakes at home. This episode is about egg, oil and salt. If you've missed any of the previous episode, click the link at the top of your screen or check out the Baking 101 playlist. So what is egg made of? Egg is made of two parts. You have the egg white and the egg yolk. A large proportion of eggs is made of water, so eggs give good moisture to your cake. There are also other effects that egg have on your cake. What's the role of eggs in baking? It helps to give your cake structure and moisture. It's also a leavening agent and it also has a flavouring effect as well as colour enhancement in your cakes and your baked goods. Now egg has proteins which coagulate when it's heated and that helps to bring together the other ingredients in your cake and give your finished cake structure and texture. So that's why egg is very crucial in baking. It's also a leavening agent. If you whip up eggs, in particular egg whites, you'll see that it has um, an extra rise and this gives your cake a fluffy and lighter texture. Egg also has lots of flavour. This is because it's packed full of fat and protein. So eggs in your cake give it that added oomph and flavouring. You may have noticed some recipes will call for you to use egg wash to brush the surface of pastry so that when you bake your pastry, it has a nice crisp golden colour and finishing. This is another role of egg in baking. When you look at your cake recipe, you'll find that it specifies the size of egg. So does the size of the egg matter? Absolutely, yes it does. With eggs, the size does indeed matter. And it's all to do with the volume. Look at this, a small egg has about two and a half tablespoons of egg material. But a large egg has 3.5 tablespoons. So if you multiply this by the amount of egg your recipe calls for, you can start to see why a smaller egg has less volume of egg in your cake mix. And this can have a huge impact on your baked cakes. So if your recipe specifies the size of eggs, then do try and stick to it. Also, use room temperature eggs unless specified otherwise. Otherwise, it can affect the consistency of your batter. Eggs are important in baking, but there are lots of other egg substitute if you want to explore these. Salt is a surprising but important ingredient in baking. Do not be tempted to leave it out. You might ask yourself, what is salt doing in a cake that's meant to be sweet? Salt is a flavour enhancer. It brings out the flavour of all your other ingredients. So it's a small amount of salt usually is called for, but it's absolutely crucial in elevating all the flavours. Be sure to stick to the amount of salt in your recipe. You don't want to go from not having a flavour enhancer to having too much salt. Salty cake is a no-no and nobody would like that. The next ingredient is oil. Oil is a fat, so it, it makes your cakes soft and moist. As a matter of fact, cakes that are made with oil are often moister than cakes that are made with butter. So oil is good for making soft and moist cake. But the advantage of using butter is butter has more flavouring. So that's why you might see oil or butter or sometimes both being called for in your recipe. So thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to catch up on the others on the playlist and I will see you next week for the final uh, episode in this series. Bye.